what's your feeling uh, how different between this camp and last year's camp? Uh, very high intensity, uh, very high and intense, a lot of competition. Um, first first two days was a lot of learning. They put a lot of, you know, new things on uh, defensively in, you know, that we're trying to pick up on the fly. So, um, you know, we're trying to, everybody's trying to pick up on the fly. You know, some new coaching staff. We got some new players, obviously some new rookies. So um, first two days was great, actually. Uh, but, you know, it's just a lot of competition and guys pushing each other and, uh, I like the vibe, you know, it's, it, it seems like it's a clean slate for everybody. So um, obviously how last last season ended, you know, we're trying to redeem ourselves and, uh, you know, get prepared for this year to, to make a championship run. Tim Cato with the Athletic. Uh, I know we're just a couple days in, but what have the, have the coaches talked to you about what they see your role in this team being and what do you think it should be or expect it to be? Um, yeah, we talked briefly. Um, you know, everyone on this team knows what I can do as far as playmaking and, uh, you know, just being able to not only create for myself, but but create for others. I think that's something that I bring to this team. I think that's where my value lays. It's just um, attacking in transition, you know, in a half court offense. A lot of times when the play breaks down, I feel like I'm a guy that can, you know, go and get a bucket or go and get a, you know, a shot, you know, when, when there's a broken play. Um, on the flip end, I feel like I can, you know, play play some backup point guard as well. So. You know, it's just been a lot of, um, you know, high competition and, you know, guys just pushing each other. I think for me personally, you know, I know what I can bring for this team. I think I have value on the defensive end as well, regardless of what the narrative is. Um, I think last year I showed that, um, you know, at, at times. So that's something that I'm continuing to try to do consistently. Trey, uh, Chuck Cooper, Steve, Radio. See you. Uh, <laughs> what is the biggest change defensively? that you've seen and the stuff that you're doing drill-wise and whatever to try to execute that? Well, there are there are a few there are a few things. You know, we, we're Xing this year. I don't know if you know what that is, but um, just the terminology as well. Um, that last year, there was a certain style that we played defensively. This year, I can tell that it's, it's not the same. You know, there's certain things you come off pick and roll. You know, that guy that's on the weak side uh, has a different responsibility than, than we did last year. So, it definitely was a little new to all of us, um, you know, going from one system to a whole new system. Um, but we're picking it up on the fly. You know, like I said, I think that's something that we got to continue to work on, continue to help each other, encourage each other to, to pick up fast. Obviously, our first game is, you know, right around the corner. So, um, you know, we're trying to, you know, learn on the fly. Would you say that it is a more aggressive scheme? Than what I would say, you know, we're, we're helping and it's, well, I would say that we're showing help more than we did last year. Um, meaning, you know, if I'm on offense and I'm coming down, I see that weak side shifted. You know what I mean? We're, we're you know, they're emphasizing us shifting and at least showing, you know, that we're, you know, we're going to be more in a help side, you know, type of, type of scheme. Um, and it's new for us, but at the same time, it's something that we can do. I think we have the speed to do it. Um, I think, you know, everybody's being coachable and trying to pick it up as fast as possible. And uh, we just, like I said, you know, when we start playing and competing, we're, we're trying to work on that, you know, as well as being ourselves and, you know, bringing our skill set out. So this is something that we got to continue to um, adjust to and uh, pick up. I, I like it, actually, because um, I think it, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, we're, we're, we're so shifted and we're, we're we're so engaged on the on the on the help side, you know. If a guy does get beat, that's on the ball or something. There, somebody's there to help them, and uh, that's something that you know I think championship teams do. Uh, Trey, Kevin Kaplan with the Dallas Morning News. Um, I think I saw yesterday on Instagram you had a post that referenced potentially not taking the vaccine, and so I'm just curious, kind of where you stand on that when the coach Kent says that his his goal is to be at 100 percent. That's something I'm actually talking to the coaches about right now. It's a personal choice, um, you know, that I'm still figuring out. I'm taking it one day at a time. Um, me and my family are still talking about it and doing the research on it. Um, but I, you know, I want to keep most of the answers basketball related. Uh, it's just, I feel like everybody has, you know, their, their own personal choice. And for me, I'm just getting the, the proper, you know, knowledge and, the re and continuing to do more and more research to, to make a reasonable decision. Yeah. Uh, Tim McMahon, ESPN, what, what kind of research are you doing and how much of that is, you know, obviously the Players Association, the NBA is giving you guys a lot of information. I don't know. 
you know, is, is there research beyond the information you're giving you? Um, for me, you know, it's something that I'm thinking about long term as well as short term. You know, I, you know, I know basketball is our job. That's something that we come in and we do on a daily basis. But for me, I, you know, I have a life after basketball as well. And, and, I, and I'm just trying to look at all of the, the facts into, you know, what it could be and, and, and how it can affect me long term. So I'm not trying to rush into a decision. You know, I, I think it's just something that I'm personally taking my time with. Anybody else? Trey? Oh, we got one on Zoom. We got one on Zoom. Sorry. Ian, go ahead. Hey, Trey. Ian Tran. I'm with A to Z Sports Dallas. Um, two quick, quick questions for you. Um, one, what do you feel that you've added to your game this offseason um, to help you improve both, like you said, as a playmaker <clears throat> and creating place for yourself and for others? And then two, uh, kind of on the days where basketball may feel mundane, what is it that keeps you going? What keeps your drive and fire up? Great question. I think uh, to answer your first question, I've watched a lot of film this summer um, and seen, tried to see where, you know, I wasn't really effective last year, where I was effective at in the bubble. Um, I think a lot of that has to do with just being myself. I think a lot of time last year with the situation I was given and the role that I was put in, a lot of times I might have been out there thinking, overthinking. And uh, everyone knows when I don't overthink and I just play my game, you know, the value that I can bring to this team. So film, I think, helped me tremendously this year, really slowing the game down and uh, trying to see where I can be effective and uh, help this team uh, with the skill set that I have. And then uh, to answer your second question, I would say, um, you know, I spend a lot of time with my family, my wife and my kids. Uh, you know, like I said, you, like, like you said, we come in here every day and uh, this is kind of like a, a sanctuary as itself. But um, you know, we have life outside of basketball as well. And even sometimes when, it, when basketball gets stressful and gets a little overwhelming, you can go to, you know, that other family that you have, which is your immediate family and just spend time with them. Um, I actually just, just got a house here. Uh, not too, oh, well, it's kind of far, like, like in the Plano area. So, uh, you know, I, I think, you know, having a home now, last year I was in a condo, having a home now and actually being able to shift environments when I leave from this environment, which is my my, my daily job, um, you know, that that's great for a guy like me. And I, I just try to stay grounded. And uh, I come from humble beginnings. So I try to keep things simple when I leave from here and, uh, you know, just um, spend a lot of time with my family, you know, my loved ones.